Hi, my name is Mark Cruz, and in this installment of the Nikon D5 series, I'll be going over the video capabilities of Nikon's newest flagship camera. This new 20 megapixel CMOS sensor in the new D5 is talked about in the stills photography part of our video series, but a lot of people forget that the imaging sensor that allows you to shoot still photos at incredibly high ISOs also translates into amazing video quality at high ISOs too. This is very important for videographers who are shooting with low levels of available light. This new sensor along with the high speed processing of X-Speed 5 enables the D5 to record UHD 4K video files at either 24 or 30 frames per second. The UHD 4K video is a dot by dot readout so there will be a crop almost equivalent to DX. Meaning that both FX and DX lenses can be utilized when recording 4K files. Recording 4K video can be written either to the in-camera memory card or to an external recorder. At that point, it'll be an 8-bit 422 uncompressed file. When shooting in the flat picture control and recording to an external recorder, these new 4K video files will provide a great starting point for any editor. There's a couple of good reasons why you should shoot in 4K, even if you don't expect to use the full 4K file. Cropping, panning, or zooming. Since 4K is almost the equivalent of a four standard 1080p files, you have a lot of room in which to crop or pan through your video while still retaining full HD quality. Downsampling for sharpness and noise. When done properly, a downsampled 4K file will appear sharper and cleaner than the same video shot natively in 1080p. For those that don't need the resolution of 4K video, the D5 also has the following video recording options. Full 1080p at 24, 30, or 60 frames per second, 720p at 60 frames per second, or a dot by dot 1920 by 1080 crop mode, which has an angle of view equivalent to three times the focal length used. Other than the dedicated movie mode, 4K is also available when recording built-in time lapses. Built-in time lapse is a great feature that enables you to create an MOV file straight out of the camera with no need for processing hundreds of images into a time lapse. The D5 gives you the flexibility to adjust the interval between shots, select the length of time the camera will shoot for, and even calculate how long the final time lapse will be. To add motion to your time lapse before, you would normally require a motion controlled slider but by shooting in 4K, you can pan or zoom and still output a full 1080p file. The D750 and DA10 introduced some amazing features for videographers, including auto ISO, power aperture, and highlight display. All of these features are now included in the new Nikon D5, but it also includes a new feature, smooth exposure compensation. By programming the preview and function one buttons to be positive and negative compensation, you can lock in the shutter speed and aperture values and then use the buttons to smoothly adjust the exposure of a scene by increasing or decreasing the ISO. All of this can be done while recording and will be completely smooth thanks to the auto ISO feature introduced in the D750 and DA10. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to find out more about the Nikon D5, please watch the other videos in this D5 series or visit Nikon.ca.